In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys this smooth liquid sort of explosion masking effect to make your videos come to life a little bit more. If you don't follow me on the gram, make sure you get on my socials as well as my TikTok. And if you are looking for any VFX or any sort of music video services, just hit me up on Instagram and I'll be sure to hit you back with a DM with our packages, our prices, etc. But without further ado, let's dive into this tutorial. So when I do VFX, I mostly do it on top of the music video itself in Premiere Pro with After Effects. So with this effect, I'm going to take a picture of the freeze frame and then I'm going to drag it and position it with a good length that I think is going to work for this effect. And then I'm just literally going to drag it on top of the clip and line it up with the clip so that it lands into the next frame. So that's exactly what you want to do. Um, again, you can do this in After Effects if you feel like it's easier for you. I right click the clip and then click on replace with After Effects composition. So the first thing you want to do is once you get into After Effects is you want to obviously mask out your subject. Now you can do this by rotoscoping, but for today I'm going to do it the rough way and just mask around the subject using our pen tool. So I'm just going to speed this up for you guys. Now once you've masked your subject, you actually want to go to the bottom left and you want to go to transform and you want to keyframe at the start of the clip, position and scale and you want to make your subject smaller because we kind of want this to pop into the screen. You can position it however you want, you can even add a rotation if you like but for today we're going to make it very simple. You want to click on your motion blur, make sure that's on and you want to highlight the keyframes at the start and you want to F9 it so it's nice and smooth. Highlight the keyframes towards the end of the clip and click reset so that now the subject is moving back into place But I'm just gonna you know adjust these keyframes here a little bit so that it actually kind of gets right into place There we go something like that. It's very rough, but this is how I want it to look for now So the next thing you want to do is, is basically go to your effects panel and type in turbulence display You want to drag that onto your clip and you want to go to the effect controls and basically mess around with the amount, size and evolution. So I'm going to change the amount to around 15 at the start of this clip and we're going to keyframe the amount and evolution. We're going to go towards the end of the clip and change the amount to zero. So now you can kind of see it's distorting and going back to normal at the end and you want to keyframe towards the end for the evolution. I'm changing mine to around 200 and something. It all depends on the way you want it to look but for me I'm liking the way that is looking. Next you want to actually add another turbulence display and we're going to change the number of this to around 20 for the size at the start. You might want to change numbers and shift things around to make it look the way you want it to look. So this is exactly what I'm doing. But for the second turbulence display, I'm making sure that at the end of my keyframes, I'm putting it at zero for the amount and for the evolution, I'm upping it a notch to around from zero to 95, 94 around there. Um, you want to kind of make sure that both of the effects look kind of different in some sort of way to give it that you know, nice warp effect. Um, again, I'm going to change that to 50. So just mess around with, you know, the amounts and the keys to, you know, get it to what you want it to look like and highlight your keyframes and F9 them so everything comes out smooth. So as you can see, the effect is coming together, but we want to go to our effects panel and we're going to type in tint. We're going to drag that onto our clip and we're going to actually change the color. Okay, we're going to, hmm, I'm going to, I'm going to change this to around purple because I want to see what sort of look it's going to give us here. So you want to go to your effects panels and type in curves. You want to drag that onto your clip and you want to start a keyframe from moving it towards the left to make it very bright and then three keyframes forward, move it back to where it was so it kind of just flashes in from bright to dark. Next thing, you want to get an effect called glow and you want to drag that onto your footage change the intensity to what suits you best and kind of what looks better for you. I'm going to go to my curves, I'm going to highlight the keyframes, make sure that everything is still running smoothly and I'm going to F9 that so it runs a little bit better and just looks more cinematic. Again, shift around with the numbers of the amounts of the turbulence display until you're happy with what you got. Lastly, add an effect called hue and then you want to change the color from start to finish to kind of give it some sort of like you know rainbow effect and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have mine go from kind of orange to purple and just make sure that you keyframe it there so as you can see it's going from orange to purple it looks very nice we're going to go back into Premiere Pro so I can actually show you what the transition looks like from it being you know a normal clip and then this effect flashing in 
to the next frame. Now you can actually make this way better. I'm gonna make an adjustment layer. I'm gonna make the length of it to what I think is best. We're gonna go to an effects and I'm gonna actually put my own preset, which is called new bass bumps. Again, I'm gonna be having my own preset pack coming soon. So keep an eye out for that. But you can get some nice bass bumps elsewhere but for today I'm gonna to be using my one so again I've just adjusted the way the adjustment layer is the length of it and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make another adjustment layer and we're gonna put it in between of the bass bump and the effect coming in I'm gonna split it in the middle and we're gonna add an effect called additive dissolve and that is basically gonna go right in the middle of it right in the middle of the bass bump and the clip going into its transition to give it a little bit of a flash but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial man it was definitely one of my favorite effects that i have been using recently for other clients and i really do think it is effective but again i appreciate everyone that's been supporting the channel if you're new hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video hit the like button thank you for supporting xp freestyles and just everything i've been posting on this channel i've got so much more coming your way so stay glued to the screen make sure that bell notification is on and i'll catch you in the next one love